Okay, so question two. Um, the scatter graph shows information about 10 apartments in a city, and the graph shows the distance from the city centre and the monthly rent of each apartment. So here we've got our distance from the city centre, and that's the monthly rent. So obviously the rent depends on the distance from the city centre because that's on the x-axis. So, um, and we've got a table here that shows the distance from the city centre and the monthly rent for two other apartments. So here we go, some more information. And on the scatter graph, we're asked to plot the information from the table. So fairly straightforward. Uh, the, if the distance is two, the monthly rent should be 250. So uh, two up to 250 and plot your point there. So two up to 250, that's one and then uh, 3.1 and 190 so um, that's 3 that will be 3.5 that must be 3.1 so 3.1 is there and we want 190 always be careful about your scale guys sometimes they can be a little bit tricky um, that's 150 so that must be 190 and there we go jobs a good one okay um, describe the relationship between the distance from the city centre and the monthly rent. Now the key thing here is, it says describe, okay, um, it didn't ask about the type of correlation. We can see there that it is a negative correlation. We can write that down, negative correlation. Negative correlation. But also we need to describe what's actually going on as distance from the city center increases monthly rent decreases okay as distance from uh, city center increases rent decreases and that makes sense as you move further away from the city the rent is going to get cheaper okay um, we've got an apartment that is 2.8 kilometers from the city center and we're asked to find an estimate and when we see the word estimate and we're dealing with scatter diagrams we should be thinking of a line of best fit so what you're going to do is take your ruler and what you're going to do is try and draw a line such that we have uh, the points are equidistant from the line. We've got the same number of points on both sides. So you kind of do this by eye. And something like that looks good. Uh, try not to go before uh, your uh, original point, uh, before your first point uh, or after the last point. Okay, the line of best fit is only with the data given. Okay, so the uh, apartment is 2.8 kilometers, so let's go to 2.8. 2.8 is going to be here, so I'm going to draw a line up to where it hits my line and across. And that gives me a, uh, a monthly rent of 230, so around 230. 230 pounds now in the exam they do give you a little bit of tolerance so it might go up to 235 and maybe as low as 225 okay